Taurus, this is all about you. Your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to all the newbies. If you have not yet subscribed, please help the channel thrive and grow and hit subscribe down below. Also tap that bell twice so you can get all notifications of when the content uploads and you also know when I go live, which is basically Monday through Friday, eight between eight and 9 p.m. a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, um, anyway. Taurus, this is all about you. Your weekly predictions and forecasts, general energy for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Over on this side, we do a full oracle card spread to get those general energies, mentalities, feelings uh, for, for what you'll experience this week. And then we go over to Vimeo. That link is in the description box right below this video. And we'll do a full tarot card spread, get a few more details for an extended read, as well as draw some romance cards to get your weekly romance reading as well. So if you, Taurus, are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, expect one to come up in a couple of seconds, let me preemptively say thank you. Because whether you know it or not, that's actually a donation to the channel. And I'm very, very grateful for your patience. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, lucky you, you didn't have to watch a commercial. Um, for those of you who did watch a commercial, once again, thank you for supporting the channel. My name is Michelle from Born Without Boundaries. Once again, please like and share this video. Don't forget, if you actually like it, do like it and share it. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. General energies for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Hmm. For the zodiacs, I feel like you're. Re I feel like there's a either a homecoming, or you're. It's like you're mentally starting over. It's like you hit a hard restart, Taurus, because there's been something that make that has made you contemplate life in a different way. Um, it's almost made you feel sort of melancholy and want to want to start over or want to go back to a simpler time or. Um, yeah, something that has allowed you to see things for what they really are and not care so much about the small shit that just yesterday you felt was so big. Be loyal to what you love. Yeah, I really feel like this is a homecoming. This is the energy, porcupine, that's crowning that is crowning your reading. Porcupine has a lot of confidence and he goes out bedazzled and doesn't care about what anybody thinks about him. And he's a little but mighty fierce thing that is determined to protect himself, but also to be loved. So sometimes he comes off as prickly when really he's just who he is and that's how he is. Time for a beginner mind is that energy that's crowning your reading. That's why I'm saying there's, there's this need to go back. There's almost this need to like, um, go back to a simpler time, go back to where you belong, go back to where you feel safe and secure. There's cutting through a lot of bullshit this week, um, to get to the heart of things, to get to the heart of what really matters. Um, almost like it doesn't have to be a literal homecoming, but almost like going back to a simpler time in your mind. Um, some place where you feel safe. When porcupine comes up, there is something that has compromised your safety this week or something that has made you feel a little bit insecure in ways that you honestly maybe almost have not felt insecure about in a long time. Like something that you would have felt insecure about when you were much younger, but you thought that was behind you. Well, it's not behind you. Now you're facing it again. But be loyal to what you love. This is a beautiful energy to come out in a reading. Because what it's saying is that you are surrounded by unconditional love or that you are going to be the bringer of unconditional love. It is this unconditional love, Taurus, that is honestly going to get you through this week and whatever challenge you're facing, whatever sort of conflict of your spirit you are facing this week, there will be a someone. This is usually a someone that will remind you of your worth or maybe just a some place that will remind you of where your worth and where you belong. This is a happy moment for you, a happy homecoming, a feeling of a renewed strength where you were a little, you were um, faltering a little bit. Watch, let's see, believe in yourself. Yeah, this is definitely you planting roots for the future, you planting seeds for the future. Um, maybe one of those things did not work out or something was compromised somehow, but ultimately, Taurus, um, this is Virgo energy. This is 
this is kind of hunkering down for the winter the way that squirrels do. It's learning how to be smart with the resources that you have, learning how to be economic, learning how to respect and appreciate them. Or I feel coming through almost being reminded to respect and appreciate what you have when you have it because it really isn't a guarantee. And isn't that the ultimate lesson of fall as we fall into winter? is you know take that summer for granted take that sunshine don't take it for granted enjoy it to the fullest because it doesn't always last i'm really feeling a melancholy it's just a melancholy coming through this week Taurus. something that has reminded you that life passes and, and i that's what i feel like i feel like there's been a passage of time and you didn't realize it that time is moving faster than you than you thought it was or you didn't realize how fast time was moving and something this week is going to come up that's going to kind of push it in your face and say wow I'm not as young as I used to be I'm not where I used to be I'm not saying that you're in any bad place it's just this melancholy feeling this realization of just how far you've come and how long it took to get there and how much has actually changed in your life that you didn't realize it's like there was a lot of changes that were happening in your life that you weren't aware of because you were so focused on your goals. And this week there's going to be a break in those goals. There's going to be a break in perception. There's going to be a, yeah, just a, just like a, a yeah, break in your uber focus and your determination and sort of a, a coming home and like making, making you realize like, in other words, just like picture yourself as a boat Taurus. It's almost like you're going to be looking at the wake and seeing how things are shifting and fluctuating and going back and forth on either side. And maybe you were just so focused, you you were beelining for some place and the whole world looked like it was moving fast too. And it really wasn't. And there's something that's going to bring your attention to that this week. Slow and steady wins the race. And here you have it. It's got to do with emotions. Um, take Take time with yourself this week, Taurus. Please be patient with yourself and what you're feeling and let yourself feel all your feelings. Um, if you are guarded from your feelings, you're going to be missing a lot of what this week is about. It's to bring you back into connection with the softer side of yourself. So please, you are going, this is going to be an emotional week for you. That's what this card is saying, essentially. <laughs> lay, it, lay it straight out. Think on your feet. Something is surprising you. It is. It's sort of sideswiping you this week. Um, you didn't expect to hear it. You didn't want to hear it. It wasn't something that you would even have thought to hear. Um, this could be something happening to somebody that you love that you thought was a rock, you know, like that you thought nothing would ever happen to. And you sort of rely on them for so much. You took them for granted. And now that that rock has been shaken or there's been a little bit of an earthquake, you're like, holy, oh my God. It's, it's, it's a drop to your life because if this is a person, this was somebody who was fundamental to who you are. They were a, hold on. They were a cornerstone to your world. And that's why you didn't notice them. And don't we all do that, Taurus? Don't we all basically take advantage of those people that are always there for us? Not, and then not, it's not even like you're being a dick. You know what I'm saying? It's just, they've been there. They've been around your whole life. You want to meet my puppy? I'm trying to introduce her to my whole fam, my whole family. So say hi to Kisses. They love you. See, say hi. She's, she's the newest member to the Born Without Boundaries journey. So little Kisses is gonna be coming on our journey with us. And she loves you all. She wants to say hi to you. Hmm. Mommy love you. I love you so much. Hi Aries family. We love you. All right, go on. Brief interlude, but people have been wanting to meet the puppies, so I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, who doesn't enjoy puppies? Anyway, it's like we do, we take advantage of, not advantage, it's not like taking advantage. Take it for granted. It, it, this is, if this is a person, this is somebody that you took for granted because they've been there so long. Kisses. They've been there for so long. They've just been like a cornerstone to everything that you are that you didn't ever think of your world without them. And I'm not saying that anything has happened to them to make them not a part of your world anymore. 
but there's been an earthquake on that rock. And now you realize it's almost like they're, if this is a person, it, or maybe this is a job, you know, it's almost like you realize that they're susceptible and they're human too. And you didn't realize it before. Spirit has a plan. So this is all happening for a reason. And I know that's like, come on, what a generic statement. This is all happening for a reason. This is all happening for a reason. And I do think it has to do with you growing up. I do think it has to do with maturity. I do think it has to do with time passing and you moving on and you learning to see things from a different perspective, maybe opening your heart, being kinder, more sympathetic to others. Thank you. Hold on. It was to teach you something. It was to teach you about, hold on. Okay, so as generic as it sounds, it's almost like this happened to slow you the f down, to humble you, um, to bring you back home to family and make you remember all that is working in your favor, all the things that other people are doing to make you successful, to help you out. Things that you're not even asking for because you're loved. This is a divine mother card. You know, elephants are amazing mothers and they take care of each other's children. So this is definitely about you kind of realizing that person who, for the most part, has sort of been happy to help from the sidelines and cheer from the sidelines most of your life and then watch and wait. So you are concerned about somebody this week, um, a somebody that is extremely important to you. And I think uh, for all intents and purposes would absolutely, uh, could be a mom, could be a grandma, could be just somebody who has acted like a mother for the bigger part of your life. I will definitely flip the cards around so that you can see, but this is feeling more and more like a somebody. For some of you, it may still be a something, Absolutely. It may be, like I said, a job or a home, something that you've always had in your life that has always been there. And now it's at risk and all you can do is have faith. And I think that that's really what spirit's plan is, is to sort of level you up. This is like the high priest. Hey. This is sort of like the high priest watching and, and, and almost preaching. Hold on. It's to, to sort of work on your faith and make you more mature. When you realize that no, the world is not all about you or that things change, even those things that you thought were unchangeable. Hold on. It's meant to make you think of um it's meant to make you level up. Hold on. So here we are with the full spread and a lot came out for you, Taurus. Do you see up here crowning your reading is porcupine? You can be a little bit defensive, a little bit bristly. In other words, you're extremely sensitive this week. Something has happened to make you extremely sensitive this week. To make you feel like you have to protect yourself or that your armor has to be extra thick. In other words, you're feeling extra vulnerable. And that vulnerability is coming from the home. Coming from a place that you thought would always be secure and always be there. A resource that you thought was inexhaustible. You will be uh, tremendously emotional this week and have to improvise. This is think on your feet. This is a Sagittarius energy. This is a Cancerian energy. This is a Virgo energy. This is Piscean energy. You have all this energy here coming through loud and clear for you uh, that, that is saying that you're going to have to improvise this week. This is not a situation that you like to be in. It's not that you're a control freak, but you do like to have planned ahead. You do like to have more warning than this. Something has taken you by storm and taken you by surprise. And I do think it involves something with your mother or 
um, a home, a foundation, something that you counted on your whole life um, or for your whole life, for your livelihood. And spirit does, has definitely got your back. But a lot of times, just like spirit does, it's like it teaches us these lessons in these relatively harsh ways because it doesn't understand what we are up against or even our emotional attachment to things because spirit doesn't have an attachment to things. Um, it just is what it is right so this week is really about yeah it's about self-improvement it's about leveling up it's about it's about seeing the world in a way that you never saw it before because the world was never this way before like this whatever this occurrence is um it will shake your world um, and I do believe it is more coming from a person, a person that's been compromised or somebody that's moving away that you thought would never move away. It's almost like you're losing one of the cornerstones of your life. Not that this person is going, not that this person is going to anything horrible is going to happen to them, but it's almost like something with concerning them has been shaken. Maybe they were the ones that lost their jobs. And now the money that used to be so free flowing isn't coming in or um, um, something that you were planning on or thought would go well kind of tanked and it, it kind of whatever you thought would go well was something that you thought you were really good at and you would never have expected this loss to happen but it did and it makes you question who you are and it makes you tender and feel vulnerable so you're a little extra sensitive this week I'm gonna go over to Vimeo and get to the heart of everything that's going on, really dig into uh, the situation at hand, what most of you will be dealing with, ask Tara some questions, and get the extended reading answers, as well as draw your romance card. So I will see you over there. Link is below.